Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a couple of video shares, actually, project shares. I'm getting ready to go to the post office and so it's always my practice before I stick things in the mail to go ahead and shoot a quick video and to capture what it is that I've made and also share it with you guys. Um, this particular junk journal that I made is for a swap through Trashy and Flowish Junk Journals group on Facebook. And the intent, um, normally I do Flowish style journal swaps through that group, but this was actually for a journal. And the idea was that the journal was supposed to be kind of raw, however bound. Um, and it's supposed to be sort of useful, uh, whether it's to write in or to do excess painting or mixed media work and just to have a bunch of different textures and papers that are um, bound together. So this is what I came up with. Um, let me see if I can move this a little bit. So I made this guy and um, have some sort of tie-dye gift wrap paper for the cover, this little flower. Not sure about the flower, it's kind of bulky, but I just wanted something on the front. And then we've got a bunch of sort of clear sheer ribbons on the edge here, just for decoration. I was thinking I was gonna be all industrious and weave this hemp, um, kind of like you do with friendship bracelets. And then I just kind of went, um, no. <laughs> um, so it'll just be hanging there. That's good enough. Um, on the inside cover, let's see. On the inside cover, we have some handwriting practice. Um, I've been really into um, book covers lately. I think that they make kind of nice little tuck spots. So this was from a Jerry Garcia book. He, Jerry Garcia from uh, the music group. Um, he was actually into junk journaling, sort of scrapbooking. Um, he made some pretty cool books and so I've obtained a couple of those books where he would do this kind of collage and writing. Um, so you might check that out if you're interested. And I did some envelope making. These happen to be from Patagonia catalogs. My husband gets Patagonia catalogs and they've got all these sort of rustic images of people rock climbing and doing things that we don't do and um, but I thought that they made pretty cool envelopes so anyway um, and just a real quick flip through I just tried to let color kind of guide me I went green to green and orange to orange blue to blue you can see that I tried to um, you know have a sense of color Got a fist here with a grenade. A pocket with a handmade tag. There's another book cover. And just some paper here on the inside. We have a hand image. There's another one of those Patagonia envelopes. This is a handmade card that I got for my birthday from my friend Barb and she makes these really cool cards that have sentiments that are kind of done in that oh ransom letter style um, so I thought that was kind of cool it says here's to being born and a panda page for a while I was doing sewing and then something has happened to my sewing <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't do too much sewing. Um, I'll have to get that fixed. I think that the needle is kind of gunked up somehow. I couldn't even re-thread it. The threading came out after one of my sewing sessions and then I literally couldn't even see, and of course I know I'm getting old, but I literally couldn't see the eye of the needle to thread it. <laughs> and so I think that that eye is all covered with maybe adhesive. I'm not sure. Here's another pocket. Um, you'll see lots of circle images. I also do that as a way to kind of unify things. So if I have circular images here, I'm going to try to follow it up with other little circular 
images. Some pockets. Here we have a little card that opens up. This is technically three signatures. There's the end of the first signature. This one is made out of a book called Friends Together. It's another one of those Patagonia envelopes. And a pocket. Here's another pocket. I tried to do lots of little pieces that were handmade, whether it was tags or just these little rectangular, rectangular pieces, um, just to kind of have a more personalized sense. My partner is actually a, a subscriber, I found out. And so um, that made it even more special and made me want to do an even better job on this. And so, Hopefully she'll like this. And hopefully you're not watching this yet, Kathy, because we want it to be a surprise. There's another one of those little handmade collage pieces. Here's another one. This is from, a, uh, you get these at the bank when you get cash. I always save those. Like a weird little magpie. Um, this is kind of a cool little page. Uh, these little triangles fold out on both sides. I thought that was kind of neat. And this is from uh, an art exhibit here in Spokane. This is from an old journal, art journal of my husband's uh, from high school. <laughs> he was doing little um, practice drawings. So I included a couple of those. Here's the third section of the book. And again, um, mostly guided by color, trying to make sure that everything works out well and looks good together. I thought this was cool, um, a giant withdrawn um, stamp for when the library no longer wants a book and when they're going to sell it or throw it away, um, so I included that. I have a couple of tag spaces here, this is a cute little image with this little boy and his bulldog, and a couple of tags in that pocket. This is a how to get in shape book. Um, this is how to whittle your waist and your hips. Um, here's a little artsy piece that I did, and I'm not sure what it was for, um, but I stuck it in here. Sometimes I make things and I don't really have a purpose for them, so they just lay around until I can figure out what they're, what they're meant for. Here's another one of those little pieces. The mom and daughter having coffee, kind of cute. Another pocket and another handmade tag. I tried to include lots of spaces for writing, lots of places where Kathy could be interactive if she chose to, you know, little spaces like this where she could write or journal. It's another handmade envelope. Another pocket and a couple of tags. And this is the back. And this is a sad part, but I had already bound it and I realized that it was upside down. So that hot air balloon is going to be the bane of my existence. But um, by that time, I had already <laughs> secured everything and couldn't change things. So anyway, uh, hopefully Kathy will like this and I'm going to get this off to the post office. I have one more quick share before I get to the post office. So I'm going to say goodbye in this video and I'll be right back.